going to refactor a few things here. So for our edit item, I'm going to pass an actual item object here. I'm going to call this new item so that we don't have issues with this item we created there. Very good. So this is going to be what we're going to be passing along. So that way we can hopefully get it to update in our database. We may also end up actually refactoring this part of code here. But since it works for now, let's keep it as it is. So we have our item object here, which means our edit item here will need to have an item object. But how do we get this item object? Well, this item object, we are going to be able to get it the same way we got the one for our delete button, right? So at this point here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to say int position. In fact, we already have that position there. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to say position at this point is equal to get adapter position. Once we get that adapter position, I'm going to create an item object called item here is equal to what? Well, I'm going to go ahead and look at our item list dot get and pass our position. So get this current item. And then at this point here, I'm going to go ahead and just pass our item as such. At this point here, you notice we have repeating code and also we have issues with the, the names of our item object here because we have created here and it's saying, well, this is already created. So what I'm going to do actually, because this item is going to be the same at the top here, I'm going to take all of this code and put at the top there. Okay, so now inside there's that item and I'm going to get rid of this and we are using the same item. So it's going to be the same one. So this is much better. Okay, so now edit item again is receiving an item, which we could actually use that item instead of coming here and do all of this again, getting that same item, we can just use this new item already. So I'm going to copy this. and paste all that new item that we're receiving as such. So for now, I don't need this. Let's save this and uh, refresh just to make sure that things are still working. So we just did some refactoring there. So nothing out of this world. Okay, let's go click on this. And it's onesie 45. That's good. Let's click on this blankie there. So okay, so that is working because we are actually getting the correct information. That's very good. Okay, so it's working perfectly. Refactor a few things here. And life is good. In fact, we can just get rid of all this to get all together. So now inside of our on click here on saved button, that's where we are actually going to get what we have inside of our pop up and save to database in this case, just update. So at this point here, I'm going to say new item. So what we are getting from our parameter at the top here, new item dot set, let's start with item name, like that, we are going to go ahead and say, get the baby item and get the information. So I'm going to say baby item dot get text dot to string, say new item again, dot set color. So let's see, I think it was the item color. There we go. Item color dot get text dot to string new item dot set quantity. So quantity like that, that get text to string. And of course, we need to make this an integer wrap using integer parse because the set item quantity requires an integer. And then I'm going to say new item again, as such that set size size item size is that correct yes indeed let's make sure we are there we go that's item size indeed that get text that to string of course we're going to have to do the same thing we did parse that into an int okay very good so there we go once we have that let's put here an if statement to make sure that indeed all of these are set i'm going to say baby item get text that to string that is empty so i'm going to make it not like that. And item color dot get text dot to string that is empty. I'm going to negate. So this is going to be a way for us to make sure that those are not empty, which at this point, they shouldn't be empty, but just in case, and I'm going to say quantity item quantity dot get text dot to string is empty like that. And last one here item size dot get text to string that is empty. 
Okay, so we're saying here, if those are not empty, that's when we are going to go ahead and say database handler, invoke the update and pass the new item like this. If that's not the case, what we're going to do, I'm going to pass a snack bar that make pass our view. I'm going to say fields empty snack bar short dot show like that. Regardless of anything here outside, I'm going to say dialog dot dismiss because I want to get rid of our dialog either way. Okay, so there we go. Now here we are updating our new item to set to whatever we have inside of our edit text and so forth. And we have here a very rudimentary check to make sure that those edit texts are not empty. And once that is true, then we're going to go ahead and invoke the update item method in our database handler and we pass this new update there. Let's go ahead and save this and do a quick run and see if this actually works. All right, so this one ounzy here, I'm going to append update. I'm going to make this four like that. Let's click update. All right. We hope that something happens, but we don't see refreshing. We don't see the new updated working here. So nothing is really showing. Let's go ahead and run again and see if that onesie was actually updated. And there we go. Once we run over again, we see that our update onesie was updated quantities for and everything else is there. All right. Now at this point here, you may say, okay, this is working fine, we should be celebrating. But the idea here is not to have the users having to restart the app in order for them to see the update, because that is pretty ridiculous if you think about it. So what do we need to do to make it so that the updates are seen right away? Well, what we're going to do is after we have updated, invoked the update item, what we're going to do here is we are going to say notify item change. So there is this method, this helper method that allows us to propagate this new news, <laughs> if no pun intended, that something has changed so that our recycle view adapter is able, of course, to get things to work right so updates everything instantly so for that we'll have to pass the position of our item that has been updated so i'm going to say get adapter position but because we need to refresh the view the view has to be refreshed with the new item we have to pass this new object that we are going to refresh with in this case it's going to be what well it's going to be new item all right so there we go so now notify item change, we pass the uh, get adapter position. So the index of this object that it's being changed or has been changed. And of course, we have to pass the actual object that we'll have to show once the updates, once the change has been done, right? So reframing everything back so that users can actually see what's going on. So if we save this, let's see, and give it a run. Go back to our app here. Okay, let's go and with the blankies, let's update this one here. Let's hope all goes well. Let's go and append here an update, updated blankets. Now I want 122 and I change my mind. I want pink because it's gonna be a girl. Very good, let's see, update. Look at that, updated blankies, it's pink and everything is working. Just instantly like that. All of that was able to happen because of this, because we're notifying the item change in our recycle view adapter and voila. All right, let's go ahead and play around with this more because we worked so hard. Let's see, for diapers, I actually decided that diapers are no longer needed because that's how the world works. Instead, we need a stroller, okay? We just need one and let's say here red. Okay, let's see, update. Look at that. Now it says stroller, quantity is one, red, and size is there. And the date, everything else is working. If we want to delete that, it asks us whether it's true that we really are sure we want to do this. If say no, of course nothing happens. Go back, say yes, and it's gone forever. Of course, we can come down here and add a new item. Let's say we want to buy something for the mommy. In this case here could be maternity clothes about 122 red let's put a four there 
and voila, you can see my turn to closing there and the updated items are all, of course, there showing. All right. Very good. So we got to the end of our application here. There's a lot of things that we had to learn. And I do realize that the past two sections have been code heavy. And I hope you're not intimidated by that. Rather, I hope you are more inspired and enjoying uh, coding, enjoying creating these applications that I do understand sometimes can be a little bit challenging because there's a lot of new things that are happening here. But the beauty here is that if you are following along and actually coding, you will see the more you code, the more you do these things, they become easier. All right. So do not feel discouraged if you're feeling like you're falling behind or anything. It's fine. That's the beauty of having an online course, a video course, because you can always come back and rewatch the videos and figure things out and then ask questions if you're stuck. OK, so there we go. Now you're able to create a database. You're able to create tables. You're able to do the CRUD operations. So create, read, update and delete. You're able to do all that stuff. You're able to even get all of the data inside of our tables and show them in a very functional application as you can see here and do all sort of things that you've learned okay so i want you to take what you've learned what you've been learning and perhaps apply that knowledge to the things that you've always wanted to build okay so this is just a stepping stone point here because you can take this and do all sort of things because you have the basics here the basis the fundamentals uh, using databases and so forth so do not just stop here really um, figure out something that you can build uh, using the knowledge that we have here and uh, go ahead and build it and share the results with us thank you so much i'll see you next time